So just like in ChatGPT, now Perplexity has a memory feature, which basically means that it can remember some details on your conversation, and then later that details will be reused on future conversations, so AI can give you a much more personalized and better answer. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can enable this feature on your Perplexity account, and how you can create a new memory, and even reference it when you are asking Perplexity a new question. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is that you have to navigate to the personalized page. You can go to this page, perplexity.ai slash account slash personalized, or you can click your profile picture on perplexity and then click the personalized menu right here, and you will see this page. Now to enable memory, you have to enable this setting, reference save memories, just click this toggle button. Now the memory feature has been enabled. You can also enable the reference search library. This is not memory, but this is very similar because it is essentially just referencing the previous conversations that you had with Perplexity AI. Now I'm going to enable this as well, but this is completely optional. What's mandatory is this one. You have to enable this for the memory feature. Now, if you click the manage button, there is a good chance that there is no memory whatsoever. So I'm going to show you how you can add a new memory to Perplexity. So let's go to Perplexity homepage again. And in this case, I'm going to refresh the page because we just uh, changed a setting on the honor account. And I'm going to use this prompt. Basically, I want to tell AI that, hey, I have a YouTube channel that is talking about AI. And please save that info into the memory. This is very important. You have to explicitly mention that you have to save, you want to save that to the memory. Now, technically, Perplexity can actually just automatically remember some details in your conversation. But if you want to have some uh, info that wants to be put into the memory, then you have to tell that right here. Just tell AI that you want to save that into memory. And also, I do recommend you not adding too many pieces of information, just one info at a time uh, per thread so if you want to add a new memory then go ahead and start a new thread just put one memory per thread okay i'm going to be using this prompt and uh, for the mode i'm going to use the regular search mode and for the ai it's really up to you it doesn't really matter what AI model you're using and after that just send the message and you'll see an answer telling you that hey thank you so much for giving me giving me the info and i have saved that uh, info into the memory now if you go to the perplexity setting again, the personalized page, you can refresh the page and you should be able to see a new memory added. Let's click manage. And there you go. So it knows that I run a YouTube channel focused on an AI content. Now, uh, you can actually start asking AI about anything and it will start referencing your memory. But I do recommend to just wait three to five minutes because from my experience, it's usually not going to reference your new memory right away. So just wait three to five minutes and start asking a new question. So I'll be back in a Okay, it's been over five minutes and now I'll try to ask something in perplexity. Let's go to perplexity on page. And in this case, I'll actually ask this question or this keyword. So previously, I have asked Perplexity to give me some relevant YouTube video title ideas based on the recent news. Now, this question, this thread has been created before I added my new memory that I have a YouTube channel about AI. So now that Perplexity has more info about me, it should be able to give me a more personalized and better answer. So let me copy this and let's go to Perplexity. And I'm going to be using, uh, in this case, I'm going to be using a reasoning model because uh, from my testing, it is much more consistent than regular model. And I think this is understandable because right now the memory feature in Perplexity is actually still in beta. So it's not going to be quite reliable, but I'm hoping that it is going to be improved in the near future. Okay, I'm going to be using the reasoning model and let's send this message again. And you'll see that the answer would be different it's going to be referencing my memory or at the very least understand the context that uh, about the, about my info that i provided on the memory okay so uh, as you can see it is not giving me the ai related answer even though i have mentioned that i have an ai youtube channel so this still uh, this can happen and one way to fix that is that by adding the word memories so let me edit this and at the beginning, I'm going to write memories. So you have to include this at the beginning. 
and send the message again and it should be giving you answer based on the memory so uh, as you can see it's actually re recent news about ai because now it is referencing the memory so i think i guess for the time being you have to include the word memories at the beginning before uh, your prompt or your keyword and therefore ai will give you an answer that is based on your memory okay uh breaking news open ai's new models are refusing to shut down okay there is also nvidia ceo warning about ai and samsung ai etc so it is based on ai it is related to my youtube channel which is about ai and yeah that's how you can enable how you can add a new memory and also how you can use memory on your search in perplexity ai and if you want to see more tutorials about ai and some amazing ai stuff in the future then feel free to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on my next video have a great day